beautiful. It's Miss Nikki with Mary Mom and Mogul. And I want to thank you so much for joining me today as I plan out my week for September 2nd through the 8th. I first wanted to show you if you have not seen the video for my September setup, I will link it above in the cards. But this came out so nice. I think it is so perfect for the beginning of fall. But let's get to the second week of September. I'm using the ultimate digital planner that I have linked in the description box below. I love it because it looks like a typical or my typical A5 planner. But I have always loved the rings and this layout, which is actually more like an Erin Condren. But I highly recommend this planner. And I am actually planning on using this same planner for the upcoming year. I'm in my GoodNotes app, and here are all of the save stickers and things that I have. I am looking at the Buzz sticker book and the Wing Spread Your Wings sticker book. And of course, with me with this butterfly on, I'm thinking that I need to just stop thinking. And I'll quickly go through the pages. It's only 11 of them. And for one thing, I love the color palette. These are just beautiful. And that's our weekly kit. And I am going to open this up in a new window. And with them being side by side, it'll be easier for me to pull the stickers over. So the first thing that I need to do is cover the dates. And I'm going to use these. And I'm going to size them all at once as best I can. This is the size that I want, but because on my sticker, the space for the number is on the left instead of above, I'm going to use my white in the large, and then I'll be able to just wipe that. And now I can easily move the numbers. Now here's a problem. Because I had already moved the stickers over before I did the whiteout, I will be forced to have to rearrange each one of these. So what I'm gonna do instead is delete them all. and I hit duplicate instead of delete, which is actually better. I did that by accident, but that's gonna help me. <laughs> now I'm going to delete, but it did take, it took away my whiteout. Okay, so because I accidentally <laughs> hit the duplicate button, they're already sized, so I don't have to resize now. Okay, so that came out well, and now I need the dates from the 2nd to the 8th. And the same thing here, I'm going to size them all together. That seems pretty good. And then when I tap the page, it disconnects them. And now I can easily move one number at a time. And there we are. 
those are perfect and getting right into it the next thing i need are my to-do boxes this sticker kit is from design lovely studio and they are from etsy i've used this company before so you may have seen something like this hopefully you are subscribed and have been seeing videos from me if you're not Please go ahead and do so now. I'm going to go with the pink and the gray. I think I want to use both colors. And I'm leaning towards the hearts. I use the copy and then paste and match style feature so that I don't have to reposition these or try to make them fit again. And for Saturday and Sunday, I am going to grab one of these boxes. I'm gonna go with the first one I chose. Here I go with another weekend double box. That's one of my favorite things. Now I'm going to go back and grab a box for my work goal. Now Monday is Labor Day. So I left this top part open because I typically do the majority of my to-dos in the morning. So I kind of figure that this is for the morning, afternoon, and evening. That's how mentally I break down the day. So since I know on Monday I don't have much to do and definitely not a lot to do in the morning, I move my box here and I like the variety. Now, my work goal. For my work goal box, I think I wanna do something a little more creative, like one of these. And I guess I'll use the other one for Thursday, and then I'll grab one of these for Friday. Isn't that beautiful? I have been adding a box for my boys cleaning goals but now that they're back in school it has been really difficult to stay on track with that i think i'm going to keep this one down here for my tv and entertainment and i'll use this one for my boys cleaning goal but what I was saying was, since they've been back at school, it has been more difficult to get some of our goals done. But I'm thinking that instead of having a goal for every day like they did in the summertime, I could just have like one major goal for the week. And I think that's what I'm going to put. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to put the goal over here. And that way we can focus on one thing a week instead of one thing a day. I don't like setting us up for failure. So the one goal, and now that schoolwork is happening as well, that should be sufficient. Since I already put down this box for my TV goal, I was hoping that I could find something here as some kind of decoration for that. There is this movie night one. I'm gonna grab that. Saturday is our family movie night. We have been having a ball with that. And I'm putting it a little bit on Sunday because we don't hold ourselves to it so rigidly. If we need to move it to Sunday, we do. I am gonna grab this family time. Cause this weekend we're gonna be hanging out together. I'm going to grab the Let's Celebrate because 
My baby's birthday is this week. We will definitely be celebrating that. Now, I didn't find anything for my date night, but I could grab this box with the heart. Before this fills up too much, I want to put down my boys' activities. I don't want to forget about my bills. So I'm gonna put this here. Now I love a list on the side. Well, I don't want the gray next to the gray, so I am going to, I like that this has the days, but you know what, I'm gonna use one of these. Now I'm gonna look for a doll or some deco to go here. Since it's my son's birthday this week, I am looking at the birthday sticker book by the Retro Planner Co. I want to use one of these stickers instead of a doll. I think I'm gonna use this. It's looking boyish. I'm going to delete that so that I can use my white again and just erase that. Now I deleted my sticker because it's going to be easier for me to drag it. I don't have to change the arrangement. So I think the balloon animal is great and I have the Let's Celebrate on Wednesday. So I'm thinking that plus these, and that'll be enough. I got this Labor Day sticker from Pinterest, and I'm actually thinking that I am going to take my list down even lower and put this here because I'm really loving the art. And I'm not even gonna be concerned about it cutting off some of that. But I think that that is nice. But I am going to now arrange this so that my balloon animal is in front. And now I'm happy with it. I opened up my Daily Icon sticker book, which is one of the books that I use all the time. I love the stickers here. I think these are matching so well with this sticker kit. I'm loving it. I really like how this is looking now and it's quite full, but I did have some beautiful art in that sticker book that I really had planned on using. I put that one in the background here and it does look pretty, but it's taking away from the shape or structure of this sticker and I don't think I wanna do that. So I may just skip that. And I don't have a transparent sticker that I can put over my September. But what I can do to highlight it is Using my pen tool, I'm going to use my dropper because I want this color pink. And I'm going to use that pink just to create a square. And you see it looks crazy, but when I hold it at the end, it straightens it for me <laughs> and gives me a nice little tint there. So I'm going to keep that. Now here's the cool thing before I forget. If I turn on my lasso tool, I can move that. 
See, I grabbed that sticker too. But I can move the square and resize it and everything. But okay. So I'll leave that there just like that. I need to remember to water my plants. So I'm going to just quickly grab a sticker for that. And I will remember to do that. That's going to do it for my week view. Now I'm going to set up my health and fitness page. First thing I'm going to do is turn off my tools. Now I'm going to go back to the beginning of September. And here are some blank pages that I could use for my health and fitness page. And I'm going to use this dotted one. So I'm going to copy this page. Wrong week. Go back to the second week and now I'm gonna paste the page after this page. Here we are. I'm back in my spread your wings sticker book because i just want the days of the week for my exercise goals and i think i'm going to grab the pink is my favorite i'm gonna grab it i love how with digital planning i can take that square sticker and now it is a rectangle. It was little and now it covers the entire page. I love that. And you've seen me use stickers from the Retro Planner Co. Well, they have these self-care widgets and these, uh, this one is the fitness icons. But I think what I'm looking for is in my self-care widget sticker book. It must be in the fitness icon book. Now, isn't that just too cute? It already says workout plan. I didn't even know that was in here. I'm going to take it. And I'm going to put that workout plan on top or inside of this box. I kind of like the layering it's giving. Now I need to find a workout girl for inspiration. I am going to go with her. So I just have to lasso her, screenshot, copy and paste. Now, when I do that, it's giving her a white background. So I'm going to freehand crop her. And now I've removed that white the best I could. Make her a little bit smaller and she's perfect. Now for my self-care portion. Here's my self-care sticker book by the Retro Planner Co. You'll notice that you'll notice that I have a lot of stickers from them. It's because I purchased the whole shop bundle and every week. I receive new stickers and they are all beautiful. So I just wanted a box. So maybe I can use one of these. Let's try. I didn't really want to use the one with the gray, but I love the butterflies in it. So let's do it. I'm going to grab this self reflection. I might need something a bit darker to go behind there. Then again, I think I like it. But before I make my final decision, I'm going to grab something that's a little bit more opaque and see how that looks on there. Like this one. 
It would do well for everything except the border, which I like because it says the self-reflection. Now what I could do is put these butterflies inside that border and then move this here. Okay, now that's the stacking I want. Okay, so that is nice. But I actually use this page to track my skincare. So let's see if there's a widget for that. Here's one for skincare routine. I'm going to use this and find another one. Now that is barely showing up, but I'm going to keep it there like that because I'm gonna write over it anyway, so it'll be fine. I'll make sure that I use a bright color. I'll probably use this pink to write over here. I'll make sure I share that with you. But before I finish, I have to get some inspiration. And I'm looking in my self-care sticker book by the Retro Planner Co. I'm gonna grab her with the mask on. And it looks like I'm going to need some of my fitness stickers from my daily icons. I'll grab the kettlebell. I'm looking at that yoga mat. I, see, I think I used the same ones over and over. And then I'm going to send that to the back. I want to see a little bit more of it. So I'll move the kettlebell. And I'll grab one more thing. I'm gonna grab my vitamins. I like this book, but I don't really like it there. So I'll put it here. And I want my habit trackers. I was thinking about not putting those in this time. Okay, I was looking for my habit tracker, but I saw this. Squat because no one raps about little butts. <laughs> that is too funny. And I am going to put this here for inspiration. <laughs> I still need my habit trackers. So I'm done with that sticker book. There were some habit trackers here. I'm almost positive I saw habit trackers here. I'm going to grab both of these. And that is going to do it for my health and fitness tracking. I'm going to turn off my tools, hit my rings to take me to my index, and then I'm going to grab my meal planner. That is not what I did. And I'm going to copy this page And I'm going to paste this page. Paste this page before this page I'm looking at. So here's my meal planner. Here's my workout plan. And here's my week view. I am going to be filling in my meal plan off camera, but I have the page right after everything else. Most of these stickers here, by the way, came from my daily life icons, which are from Ease and Flow. I'll have it linked below just in case if I messed up the name. If there's anything that I have included today that I did not mention, please make sure that you ask me in the comments. I would love to share it with you. With that, we are done. I hope this has been an inspiration for you to go ahead and plan your week out and organize your thoughts so you can get the things done as well. Until the next time, remember, we can manage all the things together.